Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to go over a new feature found in Darkroom Core and Darkroom Pro. What we're going to be talking about is using a QR code to create sub-events. And you may be thinking, I've seen this video before. But in this situation, we're going to be using a tethered camera. And the camera's live view is actually going to be our scanner. So let's go ahead and jump right in, see how this all works. I'll show you how to create the codes how to capture, and then also a couple tips and tricks to help you along the way. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start inside our photo library, and that's where we're gonna um, go to create our QR codes. We're gonna click on Add Photo, and then go to Quick Import Setup, and there's a hidden little button right here, Make QR Codes. In this demonstration, we're going to be using name sub event. And right here, I'm going to replace this text with the name of the child. In this situation, what we're going to be doing is photographing children at, let's say, a school. And each catalog or each sub catalog will be the kid's name with their pictures inside of it. So we'll go ahead and create that. Click print. And let's see, this is set up for an 8x10. I'm using an 8.5x11 printer, so if I change the size to 6x8, it'll fit on there just a little bit better. We won't go to a second page. So we'll click print again. And go ahead and click print. I already have a few printed out, so we'll skip that step. But that's how you create the code. <clears throat> so you also have another option, I just want to go over it briefly, the any text. And that would allow you to create a QR code that doesn't have the actual code, the um, command built into it. In this situation, we're going to be using it with command. And I'll show you the difference in how you'd use one or the other. They do the exact same thing. So we have our codes created. The next thing that we're going to do, I have a uh, tethered camera. Let's make sure it's initialized. Yep. So if I go to my uh, photo workshop, I have this option right here, QR code. If I click on this, and then right click right here, I get a few different options for this. I wanna make sure scan for QR codes is checked. And right now I'm using handle QR code commands only. And what that does is add a little bit of code um, in the QR code at the beginning, so it tells the software what to do. So if I wanted to just create my own codes in a different application, this is an example where it just has uh, my name and not the command, I would then use create new sub event named uh, with data. So, but right now we're using the, um, the built-in command. So, <clears throat> It's pretty easy. All you have to do is hold it up, and you can see right here that it's created a new sub event. I'm gonna take a picture just so we have an uh, image in there. Oops, a little overexposed. Um, but you can see right here is that sub event with my image. So let's say the next kid comes in, and whoops. We're going to need to turn on QR code, hold that up, and you can see it created a new one. We'll take a couple pictures for that one. And then one more little thing, I told you there'd be a little trick. There's a keyboard shortcut uh, of Q, and that will pull up the scanner. And it already caught one. And I'm just using the spacebar to take pictures. But this should still work if you're actually hand holding with uh, and capturing with a shutter release. Okay, so now if we go to our photo workshop, you can see those uh, three sub catalogs that I made. 
inside the main catalog and those are the images that were captured for each one. It's a good way to help you stay organized while you're out doing your volume shooting. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. Be sure to like, subscribe, but more importantly, if there's something you want to learn a little bit more about, comment below this video and I'll do my best to add it as a future video. I'll see you in the next one.